Devin Nunes, ranking Republican on the House Intelligence Committee and also a member of Ways and Means. Uh, great to have you on the program today. Great to Let's be with you again. start with what is in this bill and what isn't. Did Democrats just miss an opportunity to get maybe DACA's and Dreamers into legislation when they wouldn't do a deal last year? Well, they've continued to, and I think that's one of the things that needs to get out there that the media needs to cover, that a party like the Democrats, who talk about the Dreamers so much, they still have yet to put together any type of comprehensive plan. Uh, so they didn't vote for our bill last year. Uh, we got about 180 Republicans on a, on a bill that voted for a bill that was on the floor of the House of Representatives. Uh, what I'd like to see is I'd like to see the Democrats who control this body, I'd like to see them put a bill on the floor that's comprehensive, that deals with border security, that deals with the work permit systems that we need, uh, and not just criticize the president. At some point, they're in power. They're not, they're not just a party that can criticize anymore because the president cannot legislate, right? The Congress, only the Congress can create laws, so, and it needs to start here in the House. You've seen on the Senate side they have proposals, on the House side we have yet to see anything. You know, I, I'm wondering if politically we aren't at a time, I mean, I know it's the year of 2020 in the presidential campaign, but are we stuck in a gear of, of not even doing what you can until you can do better overall on, on the Hill? I think we are stuck in a time where there, the two parties are so separated uh, and there's probably a lot of reasons for that. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're also in a time when the media is actually responsible for this too. So uh, you, you have most of the mainstream media who are sitting right here in this building surrounding me right now mm -hmm. uh, who don't hold them accountable, right? So why are you, you know, why would you not be putting a microphone uh, into Nancy Pelosi's face and the Democrat leadership's face and say, okay, the, you don't like the president's plan, got it. Where's your plan? But you don't see that happening. All right, I, I want to move on here to the next topic because I'm, I'm going to lose you in a few minutes. The Department of Justice missing a deadline yesterday to turn over the full unredacted Mueller report to the House Intel Committee. And now House Democrats are holding a 12-hour public reading of the lesser redacted version of the report. Yeah. What is happening? <laughs> Well, I'm glad they're reading it into the record because what I call the Mueller report is the Mueller dossier. Uh, it's a fantasy. Uh, and in fact, anybody who pays, the American people paid nearly $40 million for the most powerful law enforcement agency in the world, the FBI, who was working under the direction of the Mueller dossier team. And they supported this with news stories. Now, I'm sorry, I don't pay uh, the FBI uh, or the Mueller dossier team to go out and just get news stories to, to support their information. Well, so, you know, the fact that the fact that that we didn't even know uh, that, or the FBI didn't even know, or never bothered to tell the FISA court that there was no Russian consulate in Miami—that's hmm. pretty big deal, right? I mean, it's it's it, and it's it's almost, and they had to have known this. So, you know, why wouldn't they talk about Christopher Steele and how the Democrats paid for it and all the problems with it? So. I have uh, zero confidence in this Mueller dossier, why they want to read it on the House floor. Uh, I don't know, but it'll be a nice uh, fiction type uh, reading on the House floor. Real quickly about the missing, though, of the deadline and the White House turning over documents. Your thoughts on that? Uh, I don't know. I mean, look, the documents that I want uh, are the documents that underlie the Mueller dossier, the so Mueller report. So what's next? And getting well, them. I'm not in, so I guess, you know, they've subpoenaed it, so I guess they could try holding someone in contempt. Mm. I mean, that would be their next, that would be their next step. But, you know, we're not in favor of that. Remember, the House leadership, the Gang of Eight and others have access to go read the Mueller dossier in its entirety. Okay, so remember that. So the people that are criticizing this haven't even went to, to read it yet. Mm -hmm. And the House Intel Committee also then subpoenaing the DOJ. What's the next step in that? Well, it would be the same uh, course of action that the Judiciary Committee took, right? Mm -hmm. So if they want to move to contempt on the floor, that's up to them. It's not going to have the support of any Republicans, I can tell you that. All right. Devin Nunes today joining us, the ranking member. Thank you very Thank you. much for your time.